Center police arrested two men this afternoon for the murder of a maintenance worker. The worker was found shot in the driveway of a home he was working on. Erica Ferrando reports. This is his work van. 66 year old Lawrence Hare's van is still parked in the driveway of a home on Georgetown Drive in Kenner. It's where he was installing a new mailbox before new tenants move into the rental home, according to Kevin DeBall, who does yard work for the same property. He was about to put the other one back up, which I did this morning because he couldn't do it. The mailbox is now up just feet from where Hare was found shot in the driveway around 11 Monday morning, according to Kenner police. That was pretty shocking that somebody would do something to a person that's just out here doing his job, what he did normally every day. Tuesday afternoon, police arrested 25-year-old Maurice Holmes and 23-year-old Taj Matthews, both from Kenner. Kenner police say they were arrested for first-degree murder, partly because Hare was over age 65. Kenner police say they located the silver Mercedes that helped connect them to the crime. And through search warrants, they also recovered a handgun. They're still investigating a motive and any connection the suspects could have to Hare. I feel that's a great thing that they made to arrest. Kenner police don't play around. You come in our city and commit a crime, you will pay for it because they'll find out who you are. Hare did maintenance for this home for 15 years, according to the property owner who spoke with us over the phone. The owner is devastated, telling us Hare did a lot of work for him and was one of the best. He called him a good guy who would feed stray cats and take care of his elderly mother. He's always said, I'll take care of my mama. DeBall knew Hare by his nickname, Peanut. That's what he just always said, just call me Peanut. Hare's family shared this photo of him with us. They don't know what could have led to this. Kenner police tell us they will have more answers to what they are calling this senseless murder Wednesday. In Kenner, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.